I think we all want to send our best wishes to the President and uh, the First Lady, and uh, I've done that this morning, as you can imagine. And uh, I'm sure that they'll both stage a very strong recovery. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was one of the first world leaders to send a message of support on Friday, one that was informed, no doubt, by personal experience earlier this year. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. That admission in March attracted criticism for sending a dangerous message. Just weeks later, soon after imposing a national lockdown, the Prime Minister announced he'd tested positive for COVID-19 and would be isolating. I've developed mild symptoms of the coronavirus. He carried on working, appearing outside 10 Downing Street for the weekly applause for health workers and looking unwell. He extended his self-isolation. Then, nine days after testing positive, he was admitted to this London hospital, his colleagues insisting he was in good spirits and leading the government. But 24 hours later, the shock news was he'd been taken into an intensive care unit. He'd spent three nights there. He was never on a ventilator, but after ending his stay in hospital, he said medical staff had saved his life. After returning to work, Johnson, who's 56, said he'd been way overweight before contracting the virus. He started a personal fitness regime and a national anti-obesity initiative. His reaction stands in sharp contrast to another leader who contracted coronavirus, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. From the start of the pandemic, the 65-year-old consistently downplayed how dangerous the virus was. This is him in March, around the same time Boris Johnson was testing positive, saying if he were infected it wouldn't bother him, as it would only feel like a slight cold. In July he did test positive, but even after getting the all clear weeks later, he continued to show disdain for mask wearing and social distancing. This week, Boris Johnson was asked directly whether he'd fully recovered. His idiomatic response suggested he felt better than ever. I'm fitter than I was before. It may, it may, it may irritate you to know. Uh, I, I, I'm fitter than fit as a butcher's dog. Uh, it, it, thanks, basically, to losing weight. But he also accepted that so-called long COVID, which has left thousands of people in the UK with serious problems months after contracting the virus, clearly exists. A reminder that truly recovering can never be taken for granted. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.